Hello, my name is Terry White and welcome to Project Rome. Let's take a look at doing animations inside of Rome. So that's right, we have some animation templates or presets already ready for you to go. So we'll just go to the animations category. We'll just do a blank one just so you can see it from scratch. And we have our blank document. And the one thing that this does for us is it brings up the timeline. But even if you were in your own document, you could just simply go to view, show timeline to bring it up yourself. Now, the next thing is, what do we animate? Well, pretty much anything we can create inside of Rome or bring into Rome. So let's try a circle. Let's go ahead and do the classic make the ball bounce or make the ball animate. So we've got the circle on the page. And now what I want to do is simply turn on the animation mode. I just click the stopwatch in the lower left corner there. And now it's waiting for me to tell it how I want to animate this object. And I just simply do that over time. So I can go ahead and drag out to maybe, let's say, two seconds in time. And at two seconds, down here in the lower left corner, I want the ball or the object to be over here. And notice that it created an animation path for me. Now I can continue animating. I can say that at the three second mark, I want it to be up here. So it basically came down and bounced. Now let's see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and hit the preview button in the upper uh, toolbar here. And there is our animation happening right in front of us. Now we, can, we don't have to stop there. We can go back. That's the beginning. That's the middle. And maybe at the middle point, I want to change one of the characteristics of the object we're animating. So I can say, for example, I want to change the color. That's right. I can animate other properties on the fly besides just movement. So we'll pick a different color, and then we'll go to the ending point and pick yet another different color. So we can go, for example, let's go for a bright red this time. There we go. So now if we preview that one, it's not only moving, but it's changing colors as it moves. And once you really just get, you know, you just start thinking about what you can do versus what you can't do, you'll get a lot of animation done inside of Rome. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and we're going to try something else. Let's go ahead and select that object. We'll hit delete, and we're going to do something that we normally don't do. We're going to animate a photograph. So let's go ahead and insert file. I've got a, a nice flower picture here. We'll go ahead and bring that in. Again, Rome's looking out for me by sizing down that mega, multi-megapixel image. I'll go ahead and size it down some more, and we'll go ahead and put it in the lower left corner there. And what I'd love for it to do and here we'll zoom back up so you can see it a little bit better. What I'd love for it to do is to go from that corner over to the corner on the right, but I don't want to see it until it gets to the right. So let's go ahead and we'll turn our stopwatches on. And the first thing we'll do is we'll turn down our, our opacity. So we'll just lower the opacity of that object so you can't see it. Now I'll just move the, the current time marker out to however long I want that to take. So again, let's try two seconds. That seemed to work okay last time. And by the time it gets over here, I want it to be 100% opacity. So we just go ahead and change our opacity back up to the full amount. So now if we preview that, we'll have our animation go from zero to 100 as it moves over two seconds in time. So animating, is awesome inside of Rome. We also have an animation selection tool that allows you to go in and um, more freely control the animation points and the paths themselves. So you can do that directly inside Rome with the animation selection tool. It's great to be able to do this, to preview it, to see it all in the environment. And of course, once you're done, you can output it for your website as a Flash Swift file or we have other animation or interactive properties as well. So that's just a quick look at animation inside of Rome. Go ahead and give it a try.